basic bar spotting, we're just gonna go ramp all the way up to a clear up handstand. So starting with a pullover, hand goes on the lower back, athlete's gonna pull their chin to the bar, you're gonna grab underneath their legs, support them. Right here is where all the magic happens. Their legs are supported themselves on the bar, so all I have to do is make sure that they're not going to fall. I can just leverage that. If I pull too hard, they're gonna fall off the bar. So I have to make sure that I'm gentle in the, hey, let's press down, let's help them, help them up on their shoulder side, okay? Now we're balanced. I'm under the bar doing a pullover, but let's go on top of the bar doing a pullover. Hop down again. If I'm started here, I'm gonna have to reach over the bar. So I'm gonna go on the back, but one arm is over the bar. Go and do your pull up. I'm now picking up the legs again, supporting, supporting. Good, we got a pullover. Hopefully that's easy to see. Casting, now we're on a cast. I'm gonna put my hand on her shoulder, okay? On her shoulder, hand is gonna go above the knee on the quad, go and do a cast and I'm supporting. I'm leaning, shifting, pulling, however I need to get that balance point. I'm trying to find balance on the body. Going again, cast. Okay, if she pushes away too early, cast pushing away too early. So just cast away. I can push the shoulder down into where I need it to go. I can feel that shoulder moving backwards and I can push against it to stop it from happening. Let's go cast a handstand. From a cast to handstand, notice how this hand now gets inside the arm. It's right in here. Okay, cast a handstand, I can support and hold. I have a lot of control and balance. I lean, balance everything out. If I need to switch my hands in handstand mode, totally fine. Back hip circle, okay? I'm gonna do a back hip circle from underneath the bar because a lot of coaches just end up cranking through numbers. So you're standing here and your arm is under the bar. So here we do our cast. As the student comes through, we are catching in this position, putting the legs on, and then again, finishing the pullover spot essentially through the process. If I am doing a back hip circle from over the bar, I will be doing the exact same thing, but I gotta reach under. So as she goes to do her little cast to her back hip circle, I'm reaching under, and then I'm switching, catching. The fun thing is once you learn how to spot really well, you're just gonna hold support. I'm gonna spin you in back hip circles. You can just grab the legs, and if you pull fast enough, it will just back and circle. And then you can just get somebody to just get numbers in and you can test arm tension through that process, okay? Stride circle. Are you tired yet? No, can you go down? No, you we're gonna finish the whole thing through. You're gonna make your arms really strong. Stride circle, put one leg through the bar. Stride circle spot, I'm focused on the legs. She's gonna lift this leg up, push tall, Okay, as she falls, I'm coming around, grabbing this back leg, supporting here, we're on top of the bar. Okay, so I'm lifting this leg up, she pushes tall. As she falls, I come over to the back leg here with that arm, and I support, boom. Go ahead and leg cut, let's do a front hip circle. Gotta shake your arms up for a second. Front hip circle, we're falling as long as we can. We go to pike and there's our arms, we're catching here. I'm tracking the legs so I can get the chest to move fast enough and then speeding everything up afterwards. So watch again, I'm tracking the legs as she falls, I'm tracking them legs and then I'm pushing the chest up and I'm holding those legs into position, getting the chest to accelerate before I let the legs start to move. If I don't track the legs, go and do a front hip circle. If I don't track them, that's what's gonna happen because now I'm late on the legs and they're gonna fall off the bar and I'm not gonna be able to push her up. So I'm tracking those legs, getting make sure they're on top of the bar, accelerating the chest with the hand and then I'm allowing the, the body to rotate when everything's in position. Okay, fun stuff, clear up to handstand. Are you ready? Can you shake your arms out? Let's get a little closer to you. Okay. I'm on the same side of the bar as her. I can spot on either side. Same side, I'm gonna be reaching over. The thing that comes with spotting is you need to already have some form of contact so you can feel the acceleration drop happening. If you're not moving at the same rate of speed the athlete is moving, you're gonna either be early or you're gonna be late. And so the goal is to feel what they're doing in the fall and then you can quickly get. I'm gonna reach over and I'm gonna grab both legs as she comes over through the top. So we're gonna cast a handstand. I'm gonna keep contact as long as I can in the fall. So I'm keeping contact, reaching over, and the moment I let go, I can feel the fall. Go ahead and rest. 
So once we're in handstand, I'm falling. The moment I let go, I can feel how quickly that fall is happening. I reach over just as quickly to catch and stay in sync with that speed. And then I catch and pull over. This lean pull action, if you're not very tall, it puts you in a compromised position. So it's not always the best side of the bar to stand on is to pull from here because you're in a compromised position. You can raise your mat stack so you'll be higher so you can reach over better, or you can spot on the opposite side of them so the athlete's on the other side. Go and stand on this side. This is a little bit of a simpler in the sense of second half spot, but the beginning gets a little bit more complex because the drop, you're coming in and you're getting caught with the arm over the bar. So as you drop, you have to come around. So you're gonna notice that. Here we go, clear up handstand. But you're gonna see how I come in differently for the finish. Good, go and rest for a second. As she's coming through the bottom, I can see, I can feel that arch and those legs pulling away. So what you notice I do is as I get my hand on this side, I'm grabbing actually the bar to stop myself from getting pulled. It stops and then I bring this arm in to catch and lift. And so you kind of saw that happen because I could feel the body pulling away. I could feel the body pulling away the moment the drop happened because I could feel the drop was not going back into the bar the way I wanted to. It was falling away from the bar too much. Let's do it again. But the nice thing is this hand, this hand inside closest to her just gets to come across and the legs just come right into that arm. So it makes it a very easy way to grab somebody, but you can't be late because if they're shooting off that way and your arm's here, you're gonna miss the whole story. So you've gotta get the legs to your arm. That's the tricky part of this spot. So you lower down, you feel the body fall, you come in, now you're there. Now, if you're not tall enough like I am, you can get four of the hips, but you're gonna to have to go from legs to hips we're gonna do one more, this is our last one, okay? I'm gonna go from legs and then I'm going to move to hips, pretending if I was shorter. Here we go, so she falls, I go from legs to hips and now I have control, okay? Go and come down, thank you. I'm a little bit too far away, so if you're watching me, I'm 6'2", I'm reaching out here, I have a long enough wingspan, I weigh enough, she's light enough that it's not compromising, but realistically, I would much rather have her significantly closer to me if you're definitely a smaller spotter because as you're reaching out it's compromising your center of mass you're going to get start getting tweaked on the back the athletes going to pull you away you're not going to have control so the closer they can get to you the better that's where you're going to have the most control and you're going to risk the least, least amount of injury essentially from spotting so hopefully that's helpful that's bars all the way from pullover casting back hip circle stride circle front hip circle clear hip handstand see you later